For Lord Temple, here we go! I love the little the little transition music. Let's go. Do I even need to stop by the new? Like back here? We didn't do anything new. Does he have anything new to chat about? He does. Current area. Forlorn temple, huh? That's a sad one. How so? Haven't paid much attention during history lessons, have you? Adventurer types really do. I get it. So the short of it is, that four-headed monster who would have killed you earlier if that cooler-than-you hero hadn't intervened, that's the Demon King. He brought his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed their stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding. And he's been sitting on their throne ever since. You mean this is all that is left of the human legacy? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way! I will go and take down that Demon King right now! You wouldn't be the first to try. Well, I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery. You are still too weak to consider taking on even his second in command. I'm going. I bet you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me. Oh, I will. <laughs> any stories? Do you have any stories? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to all neighboring princes, stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders come and went, came and went, attempting to pass her test. You will be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you to do is sleep on that pile of mattresses. The next morning, she would ask them how their night was. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply, confident they had proved that they didn't fear the dark or that they would be easy guests. They were all promptly dismissed. One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses. It looked comfortable enough, but when I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. They got married the next day. Oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pee underneath that pile, so that someone who's extremely sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, but have you ever heard of what happened after? Oh. For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. When the music wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. And when the clothes weren't itchy, the poems were predictable. Until one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for exactly that reason. It dawned on her, just like that, how this whole love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions matched like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humble by regal standards, she realized that she was the only constant in all her problems, delved into personal growth, and then got a divorce. She lived happily ever after. The end. Wow, what a fucking story. <laughs> what a fucking story. Uh, I don't have enough money for upgrades right now, so we out. <laughs> and yes, I get into voice acting. Come on now, you know how I do. The fact that the boss started flashing when he was about when he had lower health was a nice feature. Oh, I guess he was flashing a different color. I wouldn't I didn't really notice since he was very yellow. But okay, if the boss flashes when he's almost dead, that's actually really nice. I like that old feature. But yeah, it's good stuff. Sorry. Oh. 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 Is this bridge going to fall? It looks like it's going to fall. Ready to go. Run like hell, run like hell. Oh. 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 Okay, that was supposed to happen, I guess. To the catacombs! Hello. Friend or foe, you look too happy to be a foe. Oh, you scared me! I thought you were not dead. What kind of creature are you? You've never seen a phobkin? Phobikin? A Pokemon? I mean, phobikin? <laughs> a phobikin? We're the tribe of builders, technically very hardworking, but every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. Oh, Phobikin. Now I get it. Scared of something, but what? What's your name? Necro. Necro? So you fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above and was instantly paralyzed by all this morbidity. Anyway, thanks for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. 
Okay. Wow, and then he just teleports out of here. Okay. I like how we came to a new area, or went to a new area just to fall into another area. That was kind of an interesting little situation. I'm thinking I don't want to go down there. So I'm not gonna, and you can't make me. Not on purpose. I kind of wish when I hit the projectile it went back at them. That'd be even more epic if you ask me. If you had to make a new flavor of protein bar, what, it, what would it be? Uh, a new flavor? See, the thing is, I don't know what flavors don't exist already of, of protein bar. Yo. Oh, shit. Yo. I bet you I can do... Hell yeah! Bet you I can do that! Let's go. I don't know if this is a secret or what, but hell yeah, dude. I'm a jump master. Let's fucking go. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Oh, shit. It's just like a money. Money! Give me all the money. Be lootful and multiply? Is that an achievement? I must have got an achievement for finding one of those. I really don't know. But you know what is awesome? The fact that I found that first try. Also, Skeleton, ow. Ow. Damn it. I gotta get better at the maneuvering still, but I'm working on it. PB and J flavor flavor. PB and J that could be good. Why couldn't that exist? Are you saying the J is not protein enough? Nice. Nice city. Right. What do we have here? Hello? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at all them skeletons and bats that are going to be easy to kill. Oh, no. A bunch of enemies I can kill in one hit. Whatever will I do? That was a lot le more menacing when he was there laughing and not too scary when the enemies actually showed up. <laughs> Just saying. All right, we wait and we wait. Go! Oh, God. Okay, this is a little scary. Sketchy, sketchy. Not a big fan. Also, hey, Tara. Welcome. Welcome. To the stream. I don't think you popped in earlier, right? Welcome. Alright, I don't have two hundo yet. I'm gonna wait till I have two hundo. If I go in there, I could buy the underwater dash. Ah! But I want the two hundo one. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that was low enough to hit me there. Come here, bat. Key up! Save till I got two hundo. Oh shit, no, I wanted to Oh, wait a sec. We're good. If I see a thing, I'm going for it, goddammit. You can't you can't stop the rack. You just confirmed that PB and J bars do exist. Yeah, I was thinking that seems like one that would exist. That seems like a very obvious one that would exist. This game looks inspired by Jit Ninja Gaiden. Good call, Tara. Good call. Because it is. Anyway, we got our second power medal. Awesome. I don't know if there's like a certain amount of those per level. If I missed any already. Like, I really don't know at this point. I didn't really want to take that ride. Meant to stay down there. Let's go down here. Down here. Please, dear. Yeah, how about human flesh flavored protein bar? That sounds amazing. Does it, though? Oh, I wonder if I can dash through here if I had the dash ability. Maybe I should have went for the dash underwater move. I mean, I almost have the two hundo. Pretty close. I kind of remember having a projectile, too, and you actually use it sometimes to my advantage. Ah, the bridge is falling. London Bridge is falling. Yeah, because the dash would be good to get past, get past these spikes, for sure. Like, so it wouldn't be so iffy. Damn it. 
This would definitely be a good spot for the dash, for sure. I mean, it's not impossible, but it would be nice to just get through this quicker. Oh, God. That wasn't as bad as it looked like it was going to be. Ah. Uh, fetch. Come at me, bat. Bitch. All right. Oh, that's not a damn... That's not a shop, though. Just a checkpoint. There'll be... Oh, God. There'll be a shop before the end, I'm sure. I don't know if these levels are all going to get progressively longer or what, but so far this level hasn't been too bad. I mean, I kind of just taking my time because I like... I'm, a, I'm kind of an explorational type of guy. You know how I am. I like to look around. I like to find the secrets. Ah, I'm stuck! Oof. I almost fucked up there. Go, go, go. Luckily, that shit took forever to actually fall. Or fall, but clothes. Oh, yeah. This is gonna... Oh, yeah. I was like, that's totally gonna crush. I could see it. I could see it. Coming from a mile away. Love that detail of the music changing underwater. Loving it. Ooh, what is this? I don't know if I can break that. I wonder if I should try a projectile. How inspired if it is it by Ninja Ninja Gaiden's difficulty? Uh, it doesn't seem like it's as anywhere near as difficult as Ninja Gaiden so far. But then again, there's there can be there can be some Ninja Gaiden esque bullshit in this game. Who knows? But what I do know so far is that this game is much more well designed in terms of playability than a Ninja Gaiden game. Like it's much more fun to play. I wonder how we are supposed to break these things underwater. I don't know if the underwater dash will work or if I just don't have the ability to do that. But they definitely look like paths that get opened up by breaking open those skinny walls. Yeah, from what I can tell, this game's much more playable, so that's all I'm that's that's why I'm so interested and in, you know excited to be playing this. Because it's a much more playable ninja guide. Well, I haven't died so far, and there's no time limit. Yeah, exactly. So because there's no time limit, this is really nice. I can just kind of take my time looking around, trying to miss stuff. Fuck some wizards up, you know. Get all the money and shit that I want. Because I'm a greedy fuck, and I'll take all the motherfucking money, baby. Oh, what do we got here? Another wizard move, or whatever this guy is. He's looking like... If he has a skeleton face, he's definitely like a lich guy. Ooh, it should. I like that you can see where they're going to go. That's kind of nice. All right, let me... Wait. Yup, we in there. Oops. Nice. Nice city. Yeah, I really don't know what's gonna let me break open these these things, you know? I'm really curious to see. Got him! Oh shit! Almost in duck. Good fuck, Skeleton. Yeah. The other dude just ran off the screen and, he, and he's never coming back! That's one way to shake it and bake it. I don't know if it mattered. Should I have tried to outrun it? It doesn't seem like it mattered. Oh, it comes back though. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we can use this one. That works. I was like, unless it comes back, which it totally did. And we looked at the Steam page for this game. Did I get the free DLC? Uh, if it downloaded automatically, sure. I don't know what the free DLC would be if it's free. I never look at DLC for a game I haven't played yet, unless it's like an obvious DLC is needed type of situation. But I didn't even know there was DLC. Uh. 
Uh. As far as you know, it should be post-game content, so it doesn't matter for now. I mean, that's what I would hope most DLC stuff is. It's not part of the main game. But whatever, if I have to download it, I will later. It's not a big deal, Terra. I, you should know me. I don't do deal. I don't even think about DLC when I first start a game I've never played. I don't even think about it. So don't even ask him if I'm going to play the DLC yet, because I have no idea. It all depends on how I'm feeling by the end of this game. Can't hang on that part of the wall. It's too small, I guess. Uh, okay. That works. Oh god. Oh, the fucking floor reset. That was nice. Huh. Do I dare go over there? I can't. I kind of want to dare. It's a true test of my skill. I must test it out. I must test if I am ready for these fancy jumps. Oh fuck! You know, I saw that, and I didn't even heed it at all. Oh, a new customer, he says. My first death, y'all. What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? How? My name is Quarble. Quarble? At your service. I'm the one you never would have met. Had you any skills? The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Oh, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. So I'll stick around to steal your loot and tell either we're even or I'm bored. I mean, I can't let you die if you I can let you die if you prefer. It seems we have a deal. Glad we met or we see eye to eyes. Carry on then. So did I lose money for that? Also, now he's just going to follow us around for the rest of this, huh? That's fun. It doesn't seem like I lost any money for that. But maybe, like, at the end of a level, I'll lose money? Like, I don't really know yet. I guess we'll just play on and find out, player. Because it seems like I have all the money I had when I died. So, like... Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, he's taking the money I'm getting right now. Never mind. I get it now. He sticks around until he gets paid. That actually makes sense. I see. Well, enjoy my money, you fuck. Okay, I guess he had enough. Good. My debt is repaid. A funky always pays his debts. You've actually thought about doing Hollow Knight's DLC, but you're worried that you'll just break the controller FML? I mean, most of the DLC is worth playing. I would say the only DLC that's really, really hard is trying to do the boss gauntlet stuff. The boss gauntlet stuff is really difficult on Hollow Knight. I'm getting my money this way, too. I don't even give a shit. Ah! Come on, health refill... Yes. I just can I just realized how the money thing works. Ah, fucker! I was gonna wait and then it didn't move. I thought maybe I had to prompt it. Son of a bitch. I'm mad. Now I'm mad. God damn it. Whatever. I don't care about the money thing. I'm just annoyed that that happened. Ugh. Ugh. So dumb. I was gonna be patient, and I, and I jump. I was literally jumping to prompt it, and it went down exactly when I jumped. Horrible timing. I deserve the laugh for that. I deserve it. I truly do. Fucking noob move. I will truly be patient next time. I'll just sit there and watch it and see what it does. Anyway, get your fucking dead in, boy. Get paid, player, so we can move on. On the positive side, I'm going to have enough money to get more than one upgrade now that I've died a few times. 
so. Silver lining and everything. Ow. You fuck. How dare you. Doo -doo. At least Corbel gets, gets to make a new comment every time he dies. Yeah, I noticed he said something different the second time I died. All right, now we'll wait. Now we go. Oh, my God. Okay, we're good. Okay. Ah. Key up. Oops. Well, lock him up. Oh, God. Well, one thing I'll never be mad at, this music. This music is good. Move on harder difficulties. He takes money right away and permadeaths you if you don't have enough. Ooh, okay. Harder difficulties actually make that whole thing work differently. Also, I like this ode to Mega Man room on the way to the boss. I like it. I like it. All right, sir. I have a lot of money. Ooh, what is this? Reduce Corbel's fine. Ooh, you could reduce it. I don't really care about that, to be honest. Not yet. Maybe one day I will, even though I have enough. I don't die enough for this to be a big problem yet. I'm kind of tempted to get this first. Man, which one do I want? Do I really want both of the 200s? Man. I kind of want the boost underwater just because I don't know what it does. Ah, it's cheaper, though. You know what? Let's just get the two 200s. Just get the more expensive. That way I get drops from enemies. It'll be it'll be nice to have like actual health and key drops. A thousand for the defensive bump over here though. I'll probably end up getting that one last. Um, depending on what this is. Aerobatics Warrior. I feel like this might be a double jump or something, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, my ninja guy is little, it's kind of adorable. You right, you right. Alright. Uh we already learned about those two things. Let's learn about the level boss. I believe you have reached the necromancer's doorstep. Any advice? Very little is known about this villain. Okay, so no advice. Dodging anything that looks like an evil magic would be a good start. Wow, great help. Well, I also recommend looking at my inventory for use for any useful upgrades. I really appreciate all the support. Look, the necromancer is a newcomer. All we know for now is that he plans on taking over the world with his undead army. All we know? Sorry, I meant I. All I know. I'm. I'm totally on my own here. <laughs> Silly fuck. All right, that was funny. All right, moving on. You may not have read those two things already. If you did, they would be great out. I did read them though, unless he added more to them. Made to the catacombs. Pretty standard stuff. Skeletons and oh. Oh, the catacombs are new. Sorry. 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 I forgot catacombs are new. Never mind. And bats. Oh, evil wizards too? You bet. A necromancer even took over. Spooky. Cliched. I suggest you get this area out of the way. There are more original ones lined up. Okay. <laughs> hey, how did that epic raid on the Demon King go? Uh, did you manage to save the world and restore your people's honor? It's not fair. The bridge was in shambles, man. Well, we wouldn't have much of an adventure if we faced off against the big villain right away, now would we? <laughs> what do you do here? I study magic. Can you teach me? Not really. Why not? Because you're not ready. Ready for what? For magic. Come on, you just asked. No, but I meant... Believe me, learning magic is a lot harder than following a conversation. You got any new stories? He likes to tell stories. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a poor old lady who had nothing in life, save for a small shack and a pear tree. Her name was Madame Misery. Her whole family ate misery, and sometimes there wasn't even enough misery to go around. One day, she was visited by a starving baker, who asked whether she had any food to spare. She didn't, but her heart was as big as her situation was unfortunate. She s so she served the beggar a few clumps out of the tasteless broth she had simmering, 
then invited him to help himself to a few pears. The beggar removed his cloak, revealing himself as a deity. He was disguised as a beggar to see whether there was any kindness left in the world. Touched by Madame Misery's generosity, he offered to grant her a wish. Let me guess, she didn't want anything It's more about living frugally? No, no, this is good, let me continue. She mentioned a lot of people were stealing her fruits, which jeopardized her chance to eat every day. Her wish was simple, an enchantment on her pear tree so that it would trap anyone who stole from it until she decided to free them. The divine visitor granted her wish and took his leave. Time went by and she scolded many thieves, but she soon realized that most of them were starving children. She decided to take it upon herself to feed and educate them and soon became the pillar of a thriving new generation. Ever happy and generous, Madame Misery got so old that her face looked like an elephant's knee. <laughs> That's too descriptive. And then one day, death came for her. Death, following the protocol, inquired about her last request. I would like to eat one last pear from my tree, she said. Would you be kind enough to grab one for me? Death climbed into the tree to grab a pear, getting trapped in the process. The old lady decided to never let death out of the trap, and since then, there has been misery in the world. The end. Right? What's the moral? Being selfless justifies being selfish later? Generosity begets misery? I don't know. It's a fairy tale for kids. I just thought the idea of death trapped in a pear tree was interesting. And a death trapped in a pear tree. No? Okay. <laughs> Basically, it's the history of misery. Why is there misery in the world? Because some lady trapped death and she is misery. I don't know. Yeah, for real though, the stories he's telling are actually kind of interesting, so that's why I've been reading them. And they're not too, too long, so that's nice. Anyway, second boss time? Here we go. Necromancer. And with his army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxton. Uh, what now? We have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing. Watch this. <laughs> I love it. He's a little guy. <laughs> Who dares into my lair? <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that the messenger? Look, looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. At guard, face the mighty might of Ruxton the Great. Can you see why I whisper? All right. Ah! Uh, oh, safe spot. All right. Uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Key off. Nice. Gotti. Ow. Gotti. Okay, don't land on top of him. Oh, it hurts. Ow, it hurts. Can I chop those? Let's try. Oh, I totally can. Get fucked. Okay. Come at me, little boy. He's flashing because I already fucked his shit up. Get fucked. Key up. Too easy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So far, these bosses have been pretty straightforward, which is nice. Ow. I like the franticness of the boss fight, and it's still pretty good also. Ah! Uh... Ooh, almost, almost. He's flashing. He's flashing real hard. Ooh. Oh, oh, shit. Come at me, dog. Don't die. I mean, you could die. Ooh, got he. Boom, 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 boom. I love it. It's good stuff. I yield. Wait, I don't. It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions then? I'm listening. I don't know. Just something else. Like what? 
Introspection would be a good start. What is all this brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well, I could. That's... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. It's settled, then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. We don't even get to murder him? Fuck you. Carry on, messenger. Anything else? No? Okay. Alright, next level. Oh, we always get, like, a little exit area. This is nice. 